Alright. Taking one. Taking camera one. Camera two. Audio. Starting three, two. Hey, how's it going now, Dale? Everybody, HR Cole here, along with head writers Todd Boldazar. We're here, Sportspeak Radio. We have a Sportspeak OC exclusive, and as you can tell behind us, we're here on the campus of Cal State University Northridge. Excuse me, Northridge. Now, let me start that over again. We'll do some editing. Yeah. Nice. All right. We're here on the campus of Cal State Fullerton, home of the Titans. In fact. Alma mater of our very own Mr. Todd Boldazar himself, and we're yep, and we're here with the coach, man who's leading everybody here on the field, Mr. Rick Vanderhoek. How you doing? Doing good, HR. Now, Todd's gonna have a few questions going into you, you know, but just briefly tell us, you know, you've been, you're this is your alma mater, right? Yes, sir. Now, how does it feel coming back after being over at um, UCLA for such a long time? Well, I, I spent three years at UCLA, and um, it was a good experience, but I, I've spent over half my adult life, half my life, uh, working at Cal State Fullerton, and, and so uh, it's a pleasure to be come back here and be the coach, and so far I have a good season this year. Now, with the season, we know that Todd is such a big, huge baseball fan and player himself. Todd, what, what do you have to ask the coach? Our uh, first question for you, Coach. Um, basically, take us through the season so far. Um, essentially, where you guys are at now, we know you're nationally ranked by Baseball America and in, in the national polls. And um, tell us what it's been like to coach this team and, and to coach your alma mater. Uh, it's been a good year so far. Uh, we're not done with it, and we're trying to take it a day at a time. But, you know, we start off the year with 10 wins in a row, uh, which had never been done here before. Uh, and we've had a lot of good teams. And then we lost a game here and then won 10 more again, and, and it's kind of been uh, just a glide season so far, and, and we're still trying to get better. I still don't even think we've played our best baseball, and hopefully we start to get better as the year gets deeper into it and roll it into the postseason. All right, Coach. Um, we'd also like to introduce uh, our new beat writer for Cal State Fullerton. He also covers the Angels for us. Uh, this is Mr. Steve Granato. He's also a student here at Cal State Fullerton. Current journalism student, and that's what Sportspeak's all about. We offer internships for uh, college students, so let us know. Uh, Steve, when do you want to ask this question? Hi, Coach. Uh, like Todd mentioned, you guys are nationally ranked number four by Baseball America and, and 10 in the nation. Um, tonight, you're facing the, the Long Beach Dirtbags and for the rest of the weekend. Now, looking forward, you're going to be going to the College World Series, I imagine. And what do you think facing them tonight is it a big matchup or are you already looking forward to the world series well we don't talk about the world series um all we talk about is the next game and tonight we got long beach state here and and just trying to get tonight done and and win the game tonight and just play good baseball and then after the end of the game tonight we'll worry about tomorrow as we get into tomorrow's game but uh we don't talk about the College World Series because there's a lot of things that have to happen before you get there. And, um, you know, we're just blessed right now to be in a pretty good position. And we're, as we talk about every day, in elimination position. Uh, we can eliminate Long Beach State this weekend. And so to have a Weather permitting, hopefully, is well, right? No, uh, we won't get rained out. We'll play <laughs> HR no matter what. We, we got stuff that can dry the field out. I remember those days. Yeah, we're in, we're in May, and, and even if it rains, the, the, we're prepared to play. So no matter what, you're going to see a game happening, and, of course, he plans on beating Long Beach. Absolutely. So, Coach, tell me, in the next few hours, how do you prepare for a game like this? Uh, is there mental preparation, physical preparation? What goes on in these next few hours until tonight's game? Well, uh, we're on the field in about two hours. We get on the field at about 4.30, um, and then we'll take our batting practice and, and work on different things that we're going to prepare for for tonight's starting pitcher. Um, and, and as we go through it tonight, we'll do that. Then the other team, Long Beach State, hits, and our guys actually go inside and turn the music up real loud and, and each of them get in their own spot and some of them throw on their headphones and just kind of relax for about 30 40 minutes it'll be a good day to do that because it's kind of warm out it's hot it's yeah degrees out here today yeah it's it's a little warm but we'll go inside in the air conditioning and and cool off and then come out and then start our build up um, to the game okay now i know we had we heard justin bieber walking up on the <laughs> softball field when we got here there's no way that's what your guys use to prepare for a game. So tell us, what's the music of choice in the clubhouse? 
Well, there's 35 guys, but the older guys get to choose most of the music, and usually pregame is a lot of Metallica. A lot of Metallica. Uh, there's a little Led Zeppelin in there. Zeppelin. Um, okay. So they get with it, and then there will be some uh, um, Ozzy Osbourne and a little bit of just <laughs> head banging. Uh, as they get into it, and, and, and that's 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 Friday, Saturday, Sunday they do country music. <laughs> so we got country, pre Sunday. pre eclectic team out there, then so to speak. Well, we got guys from all over. We got our guys that think they're cowboys, and, and <laughs> we got our guys that think they're the Justin Beavers. But they're all the younger guys, and, and the younger guys don't get much of a choice. I want to see this kind of dynamic between um, players who ones who followed Big Brand and the others who follow, will say. Trace Atkins or something like that. It's you'll be able to tell him. You can spot him. You can spot him. You know, as we call Carlos Lopez, he's of Cuban descent and and he likes the country music, so he is our really? Cuban cowboy. Okay. All right. And right. we got a little bit of variety as we go through it, and right. and it changes up. And and I kind of like the old school rock, and so I do get final say a lot of times. Shameless plug is probably going to have to turn into our sister show, Indie Spotlight Radio, for that. You know, so listen to some old school rock there too. Now, with your players, you know, he kind of went off of this a little bit when he was asking about the College World Series. Right. The way your player, your team has been playing since you joined the team, how can what how much pride do you have inside um, and within them, and on top of the fact that you've come back after a, you know such a long tenure away? Yeah, well, I, I give them the credit. Um, you know, we have an older group of players. Uh, we got eight seniors that are going to have senior day in a couple weeks. And they control a lot of what happens. Um, and I just kind of sit back and, and kind of watch and let them. They police themselves very good. They, they, they help each other. They teach each other. And it works out well that way. And, you know, for this year so far, we've been blessed that they've done a good job of that. The guys that play, the guys that don't play, they haven't pouted about it. They still go help the younger guys. And, yeah. and, and so right now it's a good feeling. And when you don't lose a lot of games, which knock on wood, we haven't yet. Um, they believe in it, so right. you know, and they like to win. So you say that the the leadership in the team pretty much is not just over the seniors, but it actually goes down from top to bottom. Everybody's pretty much all gung ho within the team. Absolutely. I mean, we're starting a freshman tonight. We're starting a freshman tomorrow night, yeah. and those seniors love those guys, and, and they give them all the respect in the world. So it's not one against the other. It's it's all for one and one for all. See, there you go. The Titans. Pretty much a very knit, close knit team taking the field within the next couple of hours. Uh, Todd, you have one more thing you want to ask him? Uh, I think, Coach, the last thing we're wondering is uh, is what's next for the club. Uh, you said you, we touched on this when you're taking in a game at a time and the series is coming up. But how do the how do your players get mentally prepared for the remainder of the season and what's beyond? Well, now it gets a little simpler because we are getting down to the end of the season. Right. So. Um, it's easier to stay at, as we say, task at hand. And, right. you know, we have a task at hand tonight. They'll get done. Uh, we don't play till 8 o'clock tomorrow night, so they'll have a little bit of a gap in there and it'll give them some time to recoup. But, you know, when they go to bed tonight and put their head at the pillow, the game's over and the next one starts when they wake up in the morning. That's right. So okay. we try to do it that way. All right. Well, Coach Vanderhoek, appreciate it very much. Thank you for letting us come out here. For Steve Granado, OC Sports Speak OC writer, the head writer Todd Boldazar, and myself, HR Cole, we'll catch you guys next time right here with another Sports Speak exclusive from Sports Speak Radio. All right. All right. Perfect. All right, Coach, we really appreciate it. Okay, now, Steve, yeah. if we're number three in the country, or four, we're not ten. I know. <laughs> I was going to try to get you, and you just four. walked right into it. And you go, yeah, they're number four in the country. And then four, like, for Baseball America, and I was like, should I mention the 10? <laughs> we're not should 10 I, in anything. We're I three checked, and four. We're three this morning, though. Three and four. Three and four. Three and four. Huh. Yeah. I checked this morning. I checked on NCAA double. That's a double website. No, that might be in the place. Yeah.